Okay guys, so while I'm uh, waiting for parts to uh, reinstall my fuel tank, um, I figure I'm going to do something uh, to the bed here before I throw it back on or have to put it back on. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a pretty bad rusty spot right back here where the paint was all chipped off. and This is really the worst eyesore on the truck was this corner right here. So uh, I've decided to do something about it. Um, what I'm going to do is... Um, you can see I've got this sand with 80 grit and actually what this is it looks like a, a bad um, actually a bad repair somebody I don't know what if this was an accident and it was it was uh, left rusted and then the guy didn't clean all the rust out and he put putty over it or what but um, I got it sanded down with 80 grit I got it all feathered out um, and uh, I'm actually going to sandblast these rusty areas. Also down here. Um, that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. You can see I'm going to do the line right here. That body line, I'm going to do that. And there's also, there's more rust right there where that uh, uh, brace goes. Otherwise it's pretty good. But I still sanded it. Um, this side, again, pretty good. Um, some rust right there I'm going to have to take care of. I'm going to hit the, all the rusty areas I'm going to hit with the sandblaster. This side was actually really good. Again, I just scuffed it up and then there's another rusty spot there. Um, so I've got these sanded with 80 grit. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually coat this, uh, these areas with um, the bed liner. Same stuff I used on my S10. Um, the reason I'm higher on the back side is because of this area here. I just, you know, I just took enough to where I would be able to cover all the bad areas. So that's why it is, uh, it's higher here than it is back there. Really, I would have just liked to have done just the lower portion, but uh, it wasn't going to happen, not and, and cover everything I needed to cover here. So I think it's down low enough that it isn't going to be that noticeable. With the truck being black and the bed liner being black, um, it's going to be hard to spot. Plus, um, it's going to add a little more protection uh, with rocks and stuff flying up and uh, hitting that. And then if they do chip it off, it's going to be easier to actually um, repair that. I'll just spray more bed liner on it. Um, but I don't think that's, once the, it's back on the truck and I lower it like I want it to, I don't think you're even going to hardly notice this bed liner. You're definitely not going to notice that. And there's a reason why I went with that body line is because uh, when I replace the rockers on the cab I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the bed liner and uh, bed line from that body line down. <clears throat> That's the plan anyway. Um, but I've got it sanded like I said with 80 grit and I'm getting ready to uh, drag it out. Get my little sandblaster out, just hit those areas because on my S10, the rusty areas that I had um, over the winter, it uh, peeled off um, the rusty area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandblast the rust, the rusty areas, and then I'm going to get some, uh, some rust converter at the auto parts store when I go to get the bed liner. I'll spray that on there as well, and uh, hopefully... Um, that will keep the rust at bay here. Um, there is, I believe there's rust under here. There's rust uh, under these flares. I don't think it's like really, really bad. It's, it's definitely not going to, it's not going to be um, poking up, I don't think, above the flare anytime soon. But um, if it does, start rusting up 
up up here or something. I believe it's better off just to uh, put a whole new box side on there. And you know, I'm not I'm not doing a whole restoration on this truck. Uh, I'm just trying to get a, a good looking daily driver out of this thing. I don't know if a if a 2000 really warrants like a frame off restoration. There's really nothing special about it. It's just it's just a 2000 um, Chevy truck. You know, they, I think they probably made millions of, of them. So there's really nothing special. It doesn't. It's not a diesel or anything. Um, you know, it's probably not as rusted out as most of them. But uh, I'm just trying to get the truck to look um, as good as I can get it right now. So that's another thing <clears throat> with the frame. I'm probably not going to be, um, you know, taking the time to like sandblast this frame and clean it all up. I, I just, I don't really have the time right now. So, you know, it's, it's gonna, I, it is what it is right now. You know, I'd like to, like to leave this thing sitting between the hoist for, you know, a month and, and, and take it up all apart and, and you know do everything you want to do but that's not a reality um, I got to get this thing out we got to do other things um, and like I said I don't know if a 2000 really warrants like a like a frame off restoration um, it is 15 years old but this is not a 69 Camaro or nothing or a 70 Camaro so we'll see I guess I, I'm probably gonna have to pull this bed off anyway again and then uh, it's probably not going to be as low as I want to go. So I'm probably going to have to do front uh, mounts there. And then the, the, the fuel tank will have to come off at that time too to, to put a new uh, hanger on here to get it a little bit lower. So when I do that, maybe I'll go a little more in depth and uh, clean off the frame. I need to get a... Uh, what do they call that a needle a needle scaler I need one of them really to go along the frame and knock all the, the stuff but I don't have one I need to get one so I'll have one by that time and uh, I guess we'll go from there I gotta get this thing uh, sandblasted and then I gotta run to the store and get my supplies because this this has to be done today so I had to I have to get this done I have to get this sandblasted, prepped, and uh, painted today. Oh, another thing is these are these are cracked. So I'm gonna probably uh, after I sandblast it, I'm gonna put some weld on these. Both rear braces are broke. Front braces are are fine, but uh, the bed's cracked right there. So I'm gonna um, I'm going to uh, weld them up quickly like I said I'm not gonna do a whole lot to this but uh, I will do that so I'm gonna get this rolled out and start sandblasting this thing
Okay, you can see I got it. Uh, I got it sandblasted. Uh, I've got it uh, <clears throat> masked off. And I also uh, got those uh, welded up. So, um, next thing here to do is uh, I'm just going to give it a quick scuff. And uh, I'm going to be ready to uh, spray it. I've actually got some uh, some rust oil or uh, duplicolor uh, rust fix I'm going to put on there first on the rusty areas and uh, I'll give that a try see if that'll help and then I've got uh, the the bed coating that I'm going to put on um, once I put this on I gotta wait 24 hours to put the to top coat it so uh, once I get this on, I'll have to wait till tomorrow to uh, actually uh, get it finished painted. So uh, I'm going to scuff this up and then uh, spray my, my rust converter there on it. Okay, I got everything uh, scuffed, cleaned up. Now I'm going to uh, put the uh, rust converter on the rusty spots and then we will uh, wait for tomorrow and then we'll put the paint on okay so I got my second coat of this stuff on I'm gonna put three coats I'm kinda interested to see how this how this does um, it kinda sprays out like uh, Kind of like bee spray. It says don't put it on thick, but it's it's really hard to control it because, it, like I said, it comes out like bee spray instead of like a, like you would think a paint. Um, so um, I guess I got, I'm gonna put one more coat on um, of that, and uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but. Uh, uh, you can see it kind of turns a little like purplish there and you can see I got it on here I don't know if you can see that or not but it's shiny where it's at so um, I don't know we will see I guess okay I just uh, got done spraying all my my paint and my bed liner on the, the bed, the bottom of the bed here. I'm going to give you a little tip here on uh, when you tape something off and uh, you have a tape line that is up against paint. Um, you always want to pull your tape off at uh, an angle like this. This is going to help actually cut that line. You don't want to go straight out. Um, this bed liner is still actually uh, wet. I didn't want to leave this tape on there and uh, let it dry on there because I'm not sure how hard this stuff would get. And um, when it's wet, I can get a nice um, when I pull it up, it, it'll cut a really nice line on there. So I've got all my tape off. And uh, you can see it turned out pretty darn nice, I think. So that's that. I gotta let that dry now. Okay, this bed isn't perfect. Um, you can see there's a there's a gouge out right here. More body work, I think. Um, and uh, you can kind of see the uh, the uh, 
rust spots, the pit, the pits that happened in that one area. But with this bed liner, it's a lot, lot less noticeable. Um, I'm happy with this. I think it looks um, really good. You know, it's way better than having uh, rust spots. I can tell you that right now. This stuff right here, you don't even, you'll never even notice that. This, it's so far down. But there was rust spots over here, so I figured I might as well do that. And like I said, when I do my rust repair in the cab, I'm going to go on that body line and continue on with the bed liner um, underneath. So I don't have to uh, actually paint the whole underside. Um, actually, um, I didn't use bed liner in here. I did do a little bit of cleanup under here. I just used uh, Rust-Oleum Industrial. I don't know if I got some of that laying around here or not. I don't know, I don't know what I did with the can. But uh, inside I used Industri Rust-Oleum Industrial. Stuff is awesome. This is the industrial stuff, not the regular Rust-Oleum. And uh, actually a couple couple coats of this and it'll almost stop rust from uh, from uh, coming back if you keep after it but uh, like I said that's it for this bed now it's just uh, got to get the uh, rest of the truck done get the uh, fuel tank and stuff back in and uh, We'll throw this, throw this bed back on.